Automotive Parts Manufacturing is an automotive supplier located in the centre of the European automotive industry. This movie will introduce APM, it will give you an insight into the production process and how APM strives to continuously improve processes to exceed the expectations of its customers. APM makes a critical part of an engine. If you look at the engine, Tsubakamoto, the customer of APM, is producer of timing chain systems. The following parts of the engine are produced by Tsubakamoto. To keep pressure on the timing chain, a lever and tensioner are required. Here you see the tensioner in more detail. Here you see the tensioner before it is finished. The tensioner is assembled by inserting a tensioner plunger into the tensioner body. The tensioner plunger is the part which is manufactured by APM. The quality requirements of the tensioner plunger are extremely high. The pressure from the tensioner plunger to the timing chain is continuous using oil pressure. This means the fit of the tensioner plunger in the tensioner body needs to be perfect to guarantee a defined oil leakage. If the defined oil leakage is too big, the timing chain will have extensive wear or might even completely fail causing the breakdown of the engine. The tensioner plunger has a guaranteed lifetime of 300,000 kilometers. The following simplified flow shows the process steps of APM. The process starts with the purchase of pressed parts. When the batch of parts arrive, they are fed into the centerless grinding process where the pressed part is ground to the right specifications. After the grinding, the part is washed. After the centerless grinding, the product must exactly conform to the required measurements and must be completely clean. Then the rack and V-groove are ground into the part and the part is inspected and washed again. After this process step, the plunger has a rack and V-groove added to the product. In the next step, a hole is drilled and the rivet is pressed into the plunger. After this process, the plunger is inspected, washed and packaged. In the automotive industry, the use of FMEA and control planning are required in the ISO TS16949 specification. APM is TS16949 certified and committed to continuously improve its products and processes. One of the tools applied in the APQP process to realise the continuous improvement is failure mode and effect analysis. For each process step an analysis is made of what can go wrong and which actions need to be performed to minimise occurrences of problems and maximise detection of problems. During this structured approach all results are registered in the Datalyzer FMEA system. The processes are continuously improved until the risk is at a minimum level. One of the results of the FMEA process is the control plan, where it is registered what needs to be measured and in which frequency. 
When changes occur during production, it is important that the appropriate people are immediately informed and processes are stopped in case these changes result in problems. For that reason, all measurement results are stored in the Statistical Process Control System Datalyzer. A change in a process is immediately signalled and the operator can take the appropriate actions to prevent problems or scrap. Now let's see how this is implemented in APM. Some measurements are so critical that no incorrect product may be shipped to the customer. Therefore, these critical characteristics are measured 100%. After the grinding process, each plunger is checked. If the length is not correct or the part is damaged, then the part will be rejected. During the night shift, the machines run unattended and if they are halted due to problems, production time is lost. Therefore, it is essential that every problem is analysed with corrective and prevention actions taken. To assist analysis, all measurements taken are stored in the Datalyzer SPC system. When problems occur, all relevant data and tracking and tracing information is available for analysis and corrective actions can be registered in the system. In the case of full automatic measurements, the Datalyzer system will signal problems either by email or by mobile device and the user can take appropriate action. We see another example of automatic inspection after the racking and v-groove process. The first and last product of the grinding cycle are automatically measured by the robot and the data is sent to Datalyzer. When one of the products is out of specification, the process is stopped. But by using SPC, the operator gets early warning long before incorrect products are produced. When special causes of variation affect the process, the operator can open the Datalyzer screen to get better information about the cause of the problem, and he or she can correct the issue. Here you see an example of the screen where the eight measurements are shown over the last few subgroups. All products are still OK, but the operator sees that a problem is starting to occur and he can correct the issue before bad products are produced. For other characteristics, it is sufficient that they are measured taking subgroups from the process. The products are measured using a gauge and the data is automatically transferred from the gauges to the SPC system. So next to registering the quality, APM registers downtimes of the machines and the cause of the downtime in Datalyzer. This OEE information can be viewed in the plant but it is also available on a mobile device. This movie gave you some insight into the production process of APM and how APM continuously strives to improve quality and productivity. The Datalyzer software suite is an essential part of this improvement process.